Hi, I'm Paul Walker. I'm part of our leadership team here at The Meeting Place. And I'm here today with a new COVID update for our faith community. So if you were tuning in online or attending in person on Sunday, we mentioned that our leadership team was requesting prayer as we processed our next steps in response to the latest restriction changes here in the province of Manitoba. Well, today, October 5th, those updated health restrictions have come into effect. Now, before I share what this means for the meeting place, I wanna share a bit of the heart of our leadership team around this latest COVID update. I wanna say right up front that we have felt the importance and the weight of responsibility around these latest changes. We've done a lot of hard work of listening and learning from each other and from our community. Our heart is to love God and to love people through wise and thoughtful leadership decisions that reflect the heart of Jesus. This is particularly crucial in the times that we find ourselves in. And so in making this latest COVID update, I wanna let you know that our heart was to do what accommodates the most amount of people. We wanna remove barriers that prevent people from gathering in community. Our heart is not to intentionally exclude anyone. And yet at the same time, we've said throughout the pandemic that we have a strong commitment to follow all the recommended provincial health guidelines. And so you might be curious what this means for the meeting place. Well, I wanna let you know about how we are including the most amount of people through the creation of two unique services. That's right. Going forward, the 9 a.m. and the 11 a.m. service will look a bit different from each other. So let me tell you about the 9 a.m. service. The 9 a.m. service will require a proof of vaccination to attend in person. This is going to enable us to increase our capacity limits and allow for more people to attend. When you arrive for this service, simply show your vaccination card or your QR code at the door, and a member of our welcome team will welcome you here. You can then seat yourself wherever you'd like. Our physical distancing in this service will be a bit more relaxed, but not entirely gone, as our ushers are gonna come around and put one X beside your seat instead of the usual three. Masks will be worn throughout the entire time you're here at 139 Smith. And we're gonna ask that you don't linger too long after the 9 a.m. service, because we need time to clean and prepare for the 11 a.m. Speaking of the 11 a.m. service, this service will not require a proof of vaccination in order to attend in person. And that means that we're gonna have to follow some different requirements to make this possible. Our audience size will change to 33% capacity in keeping with the latest restrictions. Our physical distancing will increase to six feet and masks will be worn throughout the entire service. If you're arriving at the 11 a.m., just give yourself a few more minutes to allow for contact tracing and COVID screening. As well, in both services, TMP kids will be available. In addition to these changes between our 9 a.m. and our 11 a.m. services, we're gonna take some additional steps to ensure the safety of everyone who attends TMP. And so we're gonna be asking that all our volunteers in our various ministry environments, that they would choose to be vaccinated. That's every volunteer in both services from TMP kids, main stage, young adults, you name it. And we recognize that this, this is probably gonna leave some of our ministry areas a bit short on volunteers. And so I urge you, those who are able to volunteer, please do so. We're really counting on you in this time. All right, friends, that's our update today. Now, before I leave you, I wanna share with you from my own heart. Like right now, I find that we're living in this time of heightened frustration, heightened anger, a time of division, really. Like I, I observe that families are divided, workplaces feel divided, friendships feel divided. And it really is my conviction that the people of Jesus need to look different. The church needs to look different. We need to do the hard work of being people of peace in an age of hostility. You know, the Apostle Paul put it like this in his letter to the Ephesian church. He wrote in chapter four, he said, I, I therefore, a prisoner in the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling which you have been called. 
with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, make every effort to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Church, we need to make every effort. And it's so interesting, like in this passage, Paul talks about this phrase, this unique phrase, the bond of peace. The, the Greek word for that, it can be translated as binding or belt. And it really describes this intentional effort to bring things together, which just naturally don't fit together. It tells us that peace doesn't just happen. It takes work. And so friends, we need to go above and beyond and contend for peace. We need to be gracious and understanding with each other, full of patience and gentleness. And above all, we need to bear with one another in love. And so know today, I love you guys. I love our church, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon.